what is up and welcome back to deep roots gaming i wanted to give you a little context on this survival raspberry pi build we first built this at our preschool with our kids out of cardboard and i've since updated it to this knockoff pelican case i wanted to show you guys how we did it so check it out and stick around all right so i'm going to take that cardboard computer we built with the uh, kids and we'll stuff it into this knockoff pelican case that i got from harbor freight for like 15 bucks let's we'll see what the size is we'll try to fit that same cardboard thing into this all right so here's the original cardboard i've already cut it down to where i can just stuff it into the opening of this case this is what i got we'll call this prototype one all right so now i will stuff this in here when i get my hand free and we'll come right back all right so here it is stuffed in there this is what we ended up with now we have a layout to cut it out in wood or plastic i will come back when i start that project all right found old dirty rubber made lid trace it out on the back i'm gonna cut this out easy peasy all right let's make sure it's gonna fit i think that will work here are the cables that i ordered off of amazon i just drilled two holes in the side of the case and screw them in. This makes the case waterproof. You see they have these flapper lids. Also got this battery pack. It has a USB-C charging input, which is why I have a USB-C external on this little case. And it does do fast charging, so it'll run the Raspberry Pi. All right, now it's time to transfer the screen and Raspberry Pi from our original cardboard enclosure cut out this template in plastic we will transfer it over make sure it all lines up all right i found these little picture hangers you use the hang pictures on your wall i'm gonna bend one at a 90 degree angle and i will use these for stops to hold the plastic frame we built into our uh, knockoff pelican i'll probably use velcro or something to keep it from just falling out i'm going to show you guys this you may just find something you have laying around the house but this is what i got Pretty sweet. This thing ended up fitting in this frame really nice. I like the way this turned out. Got our switch on the front. Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I ended up using the original Raspberry Pi power switch. Just ended up being easier that way. A little bit of a mess back here, but it all worked out beautifully. Should snap right in. And since we have our battery pack, we can now go portable with it. Our ports on the side are waterproof because of these covers. The bottom one is a USB-C input to our battery pack. The top two are USBs to our Raspberry Pi so we can connect our controllers or our keyboard to it. All right, here's the finished product. Seven inch touchscreen, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Use the original power button. Let's go ahead and fire it up and I'll show you what this bad boy looks like. I have the 3.55 millimeter audio cord coming out the bottom so you can plug it up to a Bluetooth speaker or whatever speaker you would like. I will eventually find a speaker small enough that fits behind the plastic frame and it's all in one. But for now, this is what I got. I will go ahead and speed up this boot. Um, the Raspberry Pi is launching emulation station with RetroPie. Here it is booted up. I will connect a Xbox 360 controller to the port on the side. I will show you how you launch a Super NES emulator. I am testing out Super Mario Brothers. This is also sped up a little bit. Show you how the game launches. It actually plays pretty smooth and I had a lot of fun with this. And the Raspberry Pi actually recognizes every USB controller I've plugged to it so far. You may have to do some configuration, but they all get recognized. All right, I'm using a USB mouse keyboard combo to select Raspberry Pi OS and the multi-boot. It will now boot up. This is a, a pretty cool project that you could actually have a field computer, you know, out in the woods and uh, it'd be protected from the elements running uh, Ubuntu or running Pi OS. A lot of options for this. All right, I'll show you the inside guts now. I know everybody's waiting for this. So again, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Connect it to a battery pack, connect it to these two ports on the side. This uh, knockoff Pelican actually has a rubber grommet or gasket around the lid, so it should be pretty watertight. Here's all the connections on the side. 
this is just a fun project you can do with your kids. I had a lot of fun doing this. It gets the kids interested in computers and technology. I know we're gonna get a lot of use out of this between the gaming or the uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. If you guys found this video interesting or useful, don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. We're still trying to grow our channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.